The 66th Annual Grammy Awards will be held tonight in Los Angeles, where Olivia Rodrigo was nominated six times. Just two years ago, Rodrigo won three Grammys for her debut album, Sour, which went platinum three times over and was named Rolling Stone's Album of the Year for 2021. Still a 17-year-old high school senior living at home when her single Driver's License became a smash hit, Rodrigo graduated overnight from young Disney actor to international pop star. Olivia and I got together in New York a few months back for a Sunday sit-down around the release of that Grammy-nominated second album, Guts. The party hasn't stopped for Olivia Rodrigo, who still is celebrating her sophomore album, released last September. Congratulations on release day. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been a very exciting few hours. You draw quite a crowd, my friend. She called it Guts. These are my, my Guts rings. And the critics called Rodrigo a rock star. And Guts means what to you in the context of this album? It means a few things. It means courage. It means trusting your gut. I like spilling your guts, too. I feel like... There's some of that on this yeah, album. Yeah, I feel like every song I've ever written is sort of just me spilling my guts a little bit. Just 20 years old, the singing, songwriting phenom has a talent for turning angst and heartbreak into hits. When you're sitting down spilling your guts in front of a piano, do you ever have any hesitation of like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't go this far, maybe I shouldn't tell this one? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in the moment when I'm writing a song, I try not to censor myself too much or think about, you know, what people on the internet are going to say about it. If someone tells me one more time, enjoy your youth, I'm going to cry. People have had a lot to say about Rodrigo's music ever since she exploded onto the scene with her Grammy-winning debut album, Sour. Years, like no it's brutal out of here. Rolling Stone called Sour Rodrigo's greatest hits album on her first try, highlighted by the six times platinum hit, Driver's License. I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. A poignant power ballad about marking a teenage milestone amid heartache. With a bridge embraced by TikTok. And Saturday Night Live. I was thinking back to January of 2021 when Driver's License came out. You're still a senior in high school. And then you wake up one morning and everybody knows your name. What, what's going through your mind? Honestly, a healthy level of dissociation goes a long way, yes. I think. You know, you just can't really read into all of that too much. You kind of just have to put your horse blinders on and focus on what you can control. You have such a maturity in your songs about things like heartbreak and relationships. On Sour, you were 16, 17 years old writing these sort of sophisticated songs that I'm not sure most teenagers have thought through in that way or can articulate in the way that you have. Thanks. I mean, I've been writing songs since I could talk. I've always been doing it, written so many bad songs, got a lot of practice. <laughs> but I, I, I really believe that really good songs kind of don't come from you. They kind of come through you. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like something else. It's like a, a magical thing. The magic began in Southern California, where Rodrigo grew up with parents who played Alanis Morissette, Gwen Stefani, and the White Stripes in the house. Do you get deja vu? <laughs> Rodrigo first sat down at the piano at seven. By 12, she was writing songs. She did some acting too, but music Just a city boy. was her first love. Do you remember those first songs when you were 12? Yeah, it's so funny. I still have them on my phone, and I'm like, gosh, I was so angsty. I had such a perspective. I'd write all these, like, feminist songs about, like, all these, like, people that wronged me or, like, all these issues that I had, and I'm like, you're in sixth grade. Like, what? what's going on? You didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. 
Rodrigo since has sharpened the songwriting around that angst and proven herself a sharp businesswoman as well. When she signed her first record deal at just 17, she negotiated for ownership of the master recordings of her music. The label agreed, perhaps underestimating her potential. How did you have the instinct to do that? Because it has paid off in a way that other artists have, have struggled with. I think that I've been really lucky to be surrounded by people who really look after me and I've just really always wanted to have total creative control over everything that I do. It's just so freeing to be able to say whatever you want, express how you feel however you want and, you know, be in control of, of your life and career. I hate to give the satisfaction asking how you're doing now. With Vampire. Why is it so important to you to not talk publicly about who or what exactly it's about. I think explanation is never good for <laughs> art. Why would I like pigeonhole a song into being about this one thing in my life when everyone has their own interpretation? It just makes me feel less alone in my feelings. You know, when I write the song about some specific instance that I felt this really strong way and then I look out into the crowd and I see some girl who felt the exact same way, it just makes me realize that, you know, we're all so much more alike than we are different. Bleeding me dry like a damn vampire. On Guts, Rodrigo goes full pop punk. She has grown up during this whirlwind couple of years, but she's still having fun. The first album was very much about heartbreak, and I think this time around I was just more thinking about the pressures of young adulthood and, you know, sort of the growing pains that come along with just turning 20. People have called you the voice of your generation. They've said that you've sort of captured what it means to be your age or close to your age in this moment in time. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, it's so, so crazy. Because you're just telling your own story, yeah. but it just so happens to reflect what a lot of people are going through. All I can do is be myself, I think, and write songs that I like, and I think the fact that people gravitate towards them is amazing. I'm pretty when I cry. We wish Olivia good luck tonight at the Grammys, where she also will be performing. Her album Guts is available wherever you get your music. And our thanks again to our friends at the Peacock Lounge right inside Rockefeller Center for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full extended interview with Olivia Rodrigo. And in honor of Grammy Sunday, we have assembled a special collection of our recent conversations with Grammy-nominated artists, including John Batiste, Brandi Carlisle, Chris Stapleton, and Jack Antonoff. You can find those on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.